You know, growing up, my mom told me life is not measured by, you know, what you have or what what you accomplish, it's measured by how many lives you touch and how many people's lives you change. And my job has given me the opportunity to do that. And it's just been so rewarding, both personally and professionally. And it's been amazing. You know, I am a product of refugee and immigrant family. I, my family moved here um, nearly 30 years ago and I moved to St. Cloud about 15 years ago. As a young kid, I always thought that, you know, I wanted to be something in healthcare, but I never thought that dream was achievable. I just never saw myself as a nurse because that is not the stereotypical nurse doesn't look like me, right? And that's what I've believed. When you go to the hospital, you don't really see nurses that look like me or when you go to a clinic. And um, once I took a chance, I came and toured St. Cloud Technical College, got involved with the Mosaic program at the time. And they really just showed me a pathway and um, made it possible and made me believe that I actually could become a nurse. And that's the route I took, so. This is where I started my nursing career. Prior to graduation, I was very involved in the community. I've been a community organizer since I moved here. I had connections with Centric Care, and it was only a natural move for me to just um, go there. And and from then on, you know, I I was an LPN, an RN, and went through St. Cloud State to get my bachelor's. And um, you know, every step of the way, there was a path. So. That's why it's so important, I think, to be a lifelong learner, especially in the health field. There's always something to do next. So 2020 was kind of crazy, um, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I took a job December of 2019. Uh, my title is Community Health Specialist, um, basically a public health nurse that works in the community to promote health and wellness. So then I found out, you know, I was just doing my job like all the other people in healthcare. I didn't think you know, I was what we were doing was special or anything because we're taking care of people, that's what we do. Sometime in the summer of 2020, I found out that I was nominated for this Unsung Hero Award, and then it was like in October that I found out that I had actually won. I was so humbled and shocked, <laughs> but um, very appreciative of, you know, to know that someone in, in our community saw value in the work that we're doing and wanted to recognize that. So kudos to my team. <laughs> so I would just say give it a chance, you know, find someone that believes in you and your dreams. And it's without education, it's really hard to, to make a difference.